Hey guys, so the feds have raided Diddy's home about time. I mean, Diddy has been, you know, allegedly done sex trafficking, rapes, drugs, women, you know, there's allegations of murders. Diddy's name is called up and it's never for anything good. It's not because he's got good musical talent. There's nothing good that we ever hear about Diddy. But the feds are closing in. You know, Homeland Security has been at his house. They have raided it and they want evidence of Diddy's crimes. And it's about time, guys. Come on. Diddy, you know, he felt like he was going to get away with it. He felt like he had so much money that, you know, nobody could stop him. But it looks like, you know, 2024 is not going to be Diddy's year. 2023, it was tricky for Diddy, you know. He had to pay off Cassie. People were talking about him. But, you know, he felt like he came out of this, you know, shining. He was still happy. He felt like he paid it off. And he was ready to continue his nasty, dirty freak of ways. But it looks like he's going to end up in the same place as his, um, his buddy, his mate, R. Kelly. Yeah, he's probably going to join R. Kelly. You see, these guys like Diddy, they don't learn. You know, they see what's happened to their other friends who are into this sort of, you know, raping of women, taking advantage of women. But they still somehow think they're the one that's going to go away with it for life. But no, mm -mm -mm -mm. not in 2024. You know, this whole music industry is crashing down and it's being destroyed. And it's due to people like Diddy. It's due to people like Russell Simmons. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if Diddy tries to run away like Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons has, like, cases against him. So many allegations of rape, sexual assaults of women. But he was slicker than some of the others, and he decided to move abroad because he knew they wouldn't be able to press charges on him. Now, Diddy's probably going to try and make that move, but I think he's not going to get the opportunity because... As I said, they're closing in on him thick and fast. It wouldn't surprise me if they find in his house, you know, pornographic material of rape victims. It would not surprise me if they find women tied up in the house. He's probably got some women who have come from, you know, another country with illegal papers. He's probably holding some of them hostage in there. You know, that house is going to be full of secrets, full of it. And, you know, I was telling you guys just the other day how, you know, he was quick to take advantage of, you know, Karina Stephens, who everyone had down as, you know, Video Vixen's superhead. I told you how, you know, he got her through I've Gotti, and I've Gotti to me seemed like he was doing some pimping business right there. So these guys are downright dirty, sly, and nasty. And I'm glad Diddy's cool. I've got some more videos to do on Diddy. I was going to do a different one today, but obviously Homeland's, you know, reached in on him, so I didn't get to record it. But I will most definitely be doing it. We're going to also be talking about how Gig's got the gig. I mean, everybody who Diddy's been there, stuff things happened to them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I'm definitely going to update you on what Diddy's been up to. And I'll see you guys in another one.